Okay, um, so this is gonna be my first tutorial video, so just bear with me. Um, I went ahead and this is already, I have the base coat of glitter on it and then I have my coat of epoxy. You can sand your epoxy if you want to. Um, I do not do it when I do double glitter peekaboos because if you do that, when you lay the next layer of the vinyl on to pull off, you're gonna see those scuff marks. So I do not sand um, on this step. You can, I know that some people will sand the parts that do not have the vinyl decal on it. Um, that's your prerogative. I've never had the problem where my epoxy will peel or won't seal. Um, so I don't generally do that when I do two coat epoxies. Um, so what I'm going to be using is the Mod Podge method. I use the matte Mod Podge. So we're going to go ahead with the matte Mod Podge on this. Um, I'll be using my glitter. I don't know if we're allowed to use names in this group or brands. So if you want it, I will tell it to you. And if you happen to see it, it might show up, but glitter. Um, and then the other thing is I use a soft brush. These are plaid cosplay brushes. So they are paint brushes. This is a three quarter inch. It's a fairly sturdy brush, but it's not going to give you the super streaky lines. Um, like if you were to use a chip brush, this is my wood grain brush it is my wood grain only brush. <laughs> um, so this is going to give you those really bad lines that you're going to see in your Mod Podge. This is going to be a much smoother line. Um, I use a very similar brush to this when I do airbrush makeup and face painting. So that's the thing you want to look for. Um, is a nice smooth brush to avoid those brush lines. All right, and we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to move this and hopefully my tripod doesn't die. Angle down. Sweet. Cool. So here's our cup. Like I said, we've got... This was inevitably going to happen. Get a tripod, they said. Best thing in the world. <laughs> what I have to say about this. Um, maybe if I mess with the weight differential on it. Hopefully that stays. Cool. Um, so this is our cup. This is my removable vinyl. Um, you can put, I know a lot of people will do like hot glue dots to be able to pick it up. I will go through with a sewing needle um, this is just like a regular straight pen for sewing. You can see it. Um, I will go through and tap and you'll be able to hear the difference once the Mod Podge dries. Um, so that is how I get it off, but you can put the one dot of hot glue to be able to actually find all of your letters once we're done. Um, and then let's go ahead and get started. So I will do half my cup at a time. I'm going to go straight over my vinyl and then split down the middle seams. Um, that way, if there is a slight line, you're not going to see it when you're looking at the main portion of the cup. Um, don't overload your brush. Um, I try to do at least half a row in my streaks when I do my brush that way I know it's not layering on too thick because that's when you're going to see which I've definitely had that problem with Mod Podge before where you get those fat lines versus those skinny lines um, so doing it like this and trying to get that nice long streak is what's going to avoid that fat versus skinny um, I also like using the matte as opposed to the glossy here because it leaves a slightly different texture on the epoxy underneath so I know where I've already hit. As you can see, it definitely changes the color a little bit, um, which is fine because most of this we're not going to see and the matte will actually dry pretty smooth anyways. So that's And then like you can see on this one, it's that really like milky white. So I'm going to spread this one out a little bit more on the edges because I don't want that milky color. 
that milky color is going to be where you're going to see those Mod Podge lines that we do not want in this cup. All right. Cool. Move my Mod Podge out of the way so I don't glitter Mod Podge again because I have a very big tendency to do that. Um, at this point, I'll usually also put on gloves um, because one of the things that I found really helps with the double glitter peekaboo is um, being able to actually press it down. So I'll throw a glove on now while this is starting to get a little bit tacky so that I can go through and pat everything down. Not that it matters to you guys, but I'm really excited about this cup because this girl has the same high school colors that I had. So when I got this cup order, I was like, oh, I'm going to do the most amazing cup ever for you because it reminded me of my high school. And back, you know, when dinosaurs roamed the earth, we didn't have really cool cups like this for seniors. You got like your one Brian Allen. Um... So, and then there's that line of where we can tell that I still have the Mod Podge that's still wet, which is going to be what we're picking up right now. And then this is where your glove hand comes in handy. Press it down. Rotate all my excess off. Cool. And while that sets, we'll move on to our next section. Now the first section is still wet, so I'm going to be kind of careful when I go over this line. And I'm going to take it really fine so that I kind of go over it, but I don't want to create that big line delineation. So I'm going to be a little nicer than I might normally be right there. And I'm sorry for my dogs. They love to bark. Add everything that's alive and dead and inanimate. Same thing.
Um, for this, I'm kind of, as I'm patting, I'm patting down towards that side where I know that I got the curve, just to kind of give the glitter the idea that it should go that way too. Now I'm just brushing off the extra that's not actually attached to anything with Mod Podge because I don't want that getting in my under epoxy or in my under um, Mod Podge because then that's how you glitter an entire jar of brand new Mod Podge and have to go out to Walmart at 2 o'clock in the morning to buy another one. Not that I'm speaking from experience. But it was black and it was impossible to get out of the jar. Um... So same thing, I'm gonna feather right up to that line, which you can kind of see here, just to make sure I'm not gonna miss that streak. So now we're going to see where it worked really well and where we still have some spots that we're going to need to adjust. Um, I always go through and do a second coat just because I like it to be really fine um, and really nice and thick and plus we can see it dried out a little bit too much here on my senior so I'm going to need to go through and do that second coat anyways because I let that get too dry. Um, so 
Um, it'll be the same exact thing for the next time. I'm gonna reload my glitter back into my shaker, give this all a second to settle, and then go back for round two. Now that I'm on round two, I know I'm going to be covering my brush in glitter. So I will go ahead and pour a sacrificial amount of Mod Podge into just a medicine cup that way, because I know that I'm going to be getting green back into this now. Um, and I don't want to get green into my entire jar of Mod Podge. I should probably let this dry a little bit more because it's looking a little too wet for my liking. But I'm committing at least to this section because I know this section's light anyways. Yeah, this is too wet for me to be doing, but whoops. I'm going to let the rest of this dry for a little bit longer and then I'm going to do my second coat. Um, I'll start a new video when I do that, but I'm not going to make you guys sit here for another 10 minutes while this dries. So part two coming soon.